this example, uh, we're going to compare these four fractions, and we're going to order them from least to greatest. <clears throat> now, since we're able to compare fractions, we're, let's, let's see which one, which fraction is the smallest and which fraction is the greatest. So, let's look at these. 3 fourth, 1 6, 1 half, and 4 over 4. 3 fourths. If I think of this fraction, 3 fourths is 3 out of 4 parts. So, say you have a cake that's cut up into 4 pieces, and you ate 3 out of the 4 slices. Okay, that's more than half, right? Now, 1 6. If you take that same cake and you cut it up into six pieces, so now the pieces are smaller and you eat one of those, then you're eating half or less than half of your cake, right? You're eating a small piece. Now, same thing for this fraction. You're going to take the same cake, you're going to cut, cut it up into two pieces, okay? And you're going to eat one of those. Now imagine, is that going to be a big slice or a small slice? It's going to be half of your cake. This last one right here, four out of the four. So if you cut your cake into four pieces and you eat all four, you're eating the whole cake. So then, which fraction is the smallest? Three-fourths? Okay, three slices out of four. One slice out of six, one out of two, or four over four. Okay, which one represents the smallest piece of cake? One six would actually be the, the smallest because if you cut it up into six pieces, that means you're cutting them up into smaller pieces and you're only going to be eating one of those. So the smallest fraction is going to be 1 over 6. Now the next one, so I'm done with this one. So the other three, the next smallest would be 1 half. Because I know this one is going to be more than half the cake. 4 out of 4, that's the whole cake. So half the cake would be the next smallest. Then, 3 fourths is going to be the next smallest because if you eat 3 out of 4 slices, you still have some cake left over, right? Whereas if you eat 4 out of 4 slices, then you ate the whole cake. So the next fraction is going to be 3 over 4. And then the greatest fraction is going to be 4 out of 4. Okay, so this was the lesson on comparing fractions, and thank you for watching Educator.com.